got a new coffee machine. So good. But anyway, super quick video today. I've got a million two questions over the last couple of weeks around, oh, it's difficult creating drop shadows because we want drop shadows that look like this and not bold like this. So let's take a look at how. And remember to check out UI Collective Academy. Link is down below. Okay, so I want to share a, a trick here that I use on like building a really good drop shadow. Okay, so I'm actually going to put this inside of a frame and then remove that. Okay, so let's just add a fill here. And we'll keep the background uh, set to gray for now. So one thing I always do here, okay, is I always add in a, a drop shadow. Now, when you're creating a drop shadow, what it, it's super hard to find the right balance, okay? Where like, you know, 50, because again, that's too too big. And then if we turn clip content on here so we can access the spread, you know, even if we set this to 50, that's of course like way too big. And you're trying to always like find the right balance. So again, the lower you set on the blur radius, the more square it gets. So even if we were to set this to 100, this is still way big. And if we were to set this to two, like it's still, it's still way too noticeable for this to be on a card like a dashboard. And especially if you pair them side by side, like this is way too dark, right? Now, a trick that I always do Okay, and big shout out to uh, my partner in crime and UIC, Mike, he taught me this, is to set this to the spread to a negative number, negative 24. So notice what that does is, it, I'm going to undo it so you can see it. Notice how it went from much more bold to a negative value. So if we were to set this to negative 50, now all of a sudden, this is a crystal clear drop shadow where you can put them side by side on some type of dashboard and it not to be overwhelming. Okay, so really great trick for you to, when building out drop shadows, set the spread to a negative value and it's going to create much more soft, much more subtle drop shadows. And even now, if we look at this one here too, is set this to something like 10%, it's even more faint, okay, where it's just enough for you to know that there's a drop shadow there, but not enough where it's overpowering. Okay, so again, I can't hammer it down enough. You don't be afraid to use your negative spread values when building out drop shadows. If you want to watch the video, let's take the world by storm lately, click right there. Or if you want to watch another video that I highly recommend, click right there.